Hi everyone, welcome to the Skytron Smokevac training video. Today we're going to go over how to set up and how to use one of these Skytron smoke evacuators. These devices are going to be placed on booms and close to Bovi stations so that you do not inhale all those harmful smoke fumes from when you're bovine patients. So anyway, let's get right into it. Let's go straight to the menu of this system. You can see here that I have the filter assembly. It's an entire unit sitting on top of the smoke evacuator. And down here on the menu, we have a power button. We have a fan speed button. And down here, you can see some LED indicators showing that your filter life. It's got a filter life indicator because if you notice here on the side of the filter, we have an RFID badge. So when you place the unit inside your smoke evacuator, it recognizes the estimated amount of life left in your filter and it will display it over here. Now there's one thing I want you guys to notice right down here, this very bottom indicator that says, hey, this filter is dead. It is no longer usable. What you're gonna do is this guy will not power on. You're going to sit here and you're going to hit the button and you're not going to get nothing. In that case, you need to take your filter out, put a new unit in, it reads the new badge ID and it will reset your filter life. Anyway, you can see we are green, we're good to go. We are currently on standby. See the moon right here? The standby means that we are technically in foot pedal control mode. So press the foot pedal once. You can hear it turn on. We have three ports here for different size tubings. There's various ways that you can use this unit. We're not going to go into that on this video. One of the other things I want you guys to know that this does not necessarily need a foot pedal. You can tell here the foot pedal is just a tube that plugs onto a hose barb. This guy can also be operated in constant mode. Press that power button, it goes into constant mode. If you need more flow, press the button, turn it up. Woo. We'll put it back into standby mode. So that is basically an overview of the system. It's actually pretty simple. There's just one more thing that I want you guys to know is when your filter gets down here and the unit will no longer turn on, you have to dispose of this filter properly. You're gonna grip it, pull it out, and you're gonna use the included biohazard bag because this filter is gonna be full of some disgusting stuff. So place it in the biohazard bag dispose of it properly, install your new filter, and you're ready to rock and roll. So that's all I have for you guys. That is the Skytron Smoke Evac Smoke Evacuator, and that is a brief overview of it and all its functions. Thanks for watching, guys.